Hey guys, what's going on? America Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. And today I'm going to be eating teppanyaki. That's right, steak where they cook it right at your table. This is going to be a special one. There's three restaurants. There's sushi, tempura, teppanyaki. This one. It says uh, Yamanami. Oh, they have Kobe beef, yeah. For the bold price of 29,000 yen. It's about 270 dollars. <gasps> this is the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building right here. It's like a hundred stories high. Look at that. I think it's about 60 stories high. Something like that. Doesn't this look good on a hot summer day? Mm. Well, that's good. That's really good. It's the lunch menu. Whoa, ho, ho. Four different sets. You gotta go for the best one here, the Ajisai. Yeah. It's got the uh, the shrimp too, the, like the Issei Ebi, the big jumbo shrimp. Yeah, that's the one. It's like a hundred bucks. And the Ajisai is that kind of? Oh, yeah, garlic rice. It's a funny looking camera. Wish you guys could see this camera. It's the GoPro Hero 4. Because my other camera is broken. It got dropped. It's in the shop being repaired. So, this video, you guys, is special because this is a collaboration with Scott from The Real Barbecue Show. That's right. I want you guys to check out his channel. It's right up here. There's a link, and there'll also be a link down below in the video description. And he's doing his own teppanyaki home style. So he's going to be cooking it on a, I believe it's a Weber barbecue. And he's got a special contraption called the drip and griddle pan. He's going to do amazing teppanyaki. So after this video, definitely go out and check out Scott. He knows anything and everything about barbecue. He's done it all. The guy's awesome. Yeah. He's the man for home barbecue. Garlic. Oh, he's salt. It's the biggest garlic I've ever seen. <laughs> See how big that garlic was? It's like that big. From Canada. Oh, Japanese beef. Mm, uh, Ibaragi. Ibaragi. Prefecture. Mm. Uh, eggplant, mushroom, uh, long beans, and small onion. Wow. Look at the marbling on that beef. This is Japanese Wagyu beef. So the question is how do you get it cooked? Rare? Medium rare. Medium rare. So this is what's called the Nama ham salad. Nama ham means uh, raw ham. It's not cooked. It's not cooked. And I happen to be left-handed, so I'm gonna turn these around this way. Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Nama ham. Look at that. Oh boy, that looks good, doesn't it? Can you see that, cameraman? Okay, going in. Salty. Mm -hmm. Let's have some greens with that. And this is a fabulous salad. I mean, it looks it looks just perfect. Mm. Oh, it's got a really light vinegar dressing. I think the trick is. To get the ham and some lettuce together. So the ham is a little bit on the salty side. Mm. So good. There it goes. Oh. Took the fat away. So he's cutting the vegetables right now. Oh yeah, I get this. I want one of those knives. It's the sharpest knife ever. So here we go, the teppanyaki vegetables. Oh boy. Let's start with the eggplant, shall we? Hot off the grill. And he's, he recommended the eggplant and the mushrooms to go into the shoyu or the ponds, which is a vinegar dressing. And then salt for the other two. Oh wow, that is a really nice mushroom. Mm. 
I don't even like mushrooms. Oh, that's amazing. Right into the show, you. Well, it's eggplant. It's like a sponge. Mm. Spongy goodness. Mm. Right. Let's put a bit of the salt on here. And the onion as well. Sea salt. Mm. Okay, here goes. Beans. Here you go. Oh, some good beans. The onion's amazing. Wow. So good. So fresh. Yum. Delicious. Ooh. Oh, that jumbo shrimp's looking really good. He's cutting it up. Oh, almost missed filming this. Got one more to go. Here comes. Yeah. Oh boy. Jumbo shrimp. Oh. Bonus. Bonus. Thank you. Thank you. It's my lucky day. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Put a little bit of lemon on it, shall we? And I'll tell you, it looks just like lobster, but it's not. It's jumbo shrimp. Mm, shrimp, see? Lobster would have a huge claw. This is just tiny. Mm. Actually, there is a claw. Look, this is the claw. See? There is a claw. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be the toughest meat. Claw is always the toughest. Mm. It is a bit different than lobster, though. Similar but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That is tasty. Really tasty. I, mean, I think it's just it's just simple. It's just there's a little bit of salt on it. That's it. That's all it needs. Doesn't need any butter or anything. Oh. So meaty. Garlic smells so good. Oh, and that steak sizzling. Boy, this is a treat. Look at that steak. Wasabi. I think that steak looks ready. Pretty soon. We're patiently waiting here while this cools down for, he says, five minutes. It's got to cool for five minutes and then you put it on the fire again. Yeah. It's going to go back on the grill and we'll be eating in about two minutes. Oh boy, look at him cut it. Oh, that is perfection right there. Oh, look at that meat. Oh, the garlic right there, the pepper, oh, wasabi. Oh, Fujisan. Oh, Fujisan. It's like a mountain, a mountain of beef. Look at that. Going in. Going in. Uh, What do you guys think? This it looks pretty rare. Mm -hmm. Medium rare. Pretty rare. Okay, here goes. Oh. Wow. You hardly have to chew it at all. Mm. 
Samsung's fabulous. We're at, it was fabulous. It's buttery, it's delicious. And it's just, it's so soft. Um, it's magic. Oh, my garlic's tasty. Really tasty. So we try a bit, just a bit of wasabi. We're gonna ruin it just a little bit. Because <clears throat> you guys that watch me, you know I love wasabi. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfection. Well, it's perfection. Perfection. Put a little bit of salt. Salt, no, this is pepper. It doesn't need anything, though. It really doesn't. Boy. Uh, go ahead. Take a bite, guys. Take a bite. Mm. Okay, I'm full. Mm. 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 So good. Cameraman, why don't you eat? last course. I think it's the last course. Not sure. It's the garlic rice. Look at him go. Oh boy. That smells fantastic. So he's making the rice balls now. Or rice squares maybe. And they're gonna go in round dishes. It should be interesting. I think I'm gonna wait a minute to eat the rice. It looks really, really hot. Yeah, definitely too hot. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. But why don't we go ahead and rate this meal right now? Just before we even eat the rice, right? Yeah. So on my six Eric head ranking, one to six Eric heads, what do you guys think? It's a hundred dollar meal. It's gonna hit me in the wallet pretty hard, but I'm gonna go full six. Gotta go full six. Japanese beef is the bomb. And that was some of the most amazing meat I've ever had in my life. Never gonna forget that. Yeah, so when I win and get a good meal, you guys win and get a chance to win, get some snack packs. So there'll be a link to get some snack pack up here. If you wanna see what's inside, I'm giving away three of them. And the only thing you need to do is leave a comment down below on this video. And I will announce the winners, three winners, in the next Eric Meal Time. So good luck. I look forward to reading your comments down below. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. But wait, first I gotta eat the rice before I say goodbye. Rice and dessert just came. Oops. Almost had a, an epic fail there. Miso soup, perhaps? This is gonna be a two handed deal to get this open. Oh, it's dessert. Oh, look at that. Looks like chocolate pudding, but... It's miso soup. I'm a little disappointed. Wow, that was the thickest miso soup I've ever had, I think. Oh, that's really tasty. It's more like a stew. Mmm. Fantastic. Let's go in for some of the fried rice balls. Or the really fried rice squares. You put a lot of shoyu in this. There's a lot of garlic in this. A lot of oil in this. 
There's all kinds of stuff in this. Oh. <coughs> mm. Wow. That's bursting with flavor. Totally different thing than standard steamed rice. Oh boy. Mm. Pickled vegetables. Oh, that's good too. <clears throat> A little bit of coffee. And we'll say goodbye. Some nice coffee. Mm, just black. So once again, I'd like to thank my collaboration partner on this video. It's Scott from The Real Barbecue Show. Link to his video will be up here, and he's gonna do teppanyaki at home by himself. I'm really looking forward to seeing Scott's video. You guys should check it out and subscribe to him. If you wanna know anything about barbecue, different types of barbecue, he is the man. So once again, it's a six star ranking. So you guys go ahead and leave a comment down below and you'll be entered to win my get some snack pack giveaway. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, here we go. This is the dessert. It's peach sherbet ice cream with the mint leaf. And looks like some jam to decorate it with on the side. And I think I ate too much steak. That was 160 grams for me of steak. I'm really full. I think I'm just gonna let the dessert sit. It's gonna go to the camera. All right, I'll have one, one little taste. One little taste. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's, that's a big taste, just a little taste. Sherbet, it's been ages since I've had sherbet. My, that's good. Wow. It tastes more like raspberry than it does like peach. It's, it's very tangy, as sherbet should be. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, so cold on my teeth. Best meal in a long time, I can tell you guys that. If you're ever in Japan, you gotta try teppanyaki. Make sure your wallet's full. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. If you're new to the Eric Surf Six channel, I make three new videos every week. Mondays are Eric Challenge Time, where I do amazing tricks and puzzles, challenges. Wednesdays and Saturdays are the Eric Meal Time series, where I eat all kinds of delicious foods. Click that subscribe button on the top center of the screen and you will be notified of my new videos. See ya.